Hello everyone and welcome back. Welcome to another crafty decor adventure. Olivia here with Olivia's from Age at Home. In today's video, I am so excited to share with you guys some DIY Dollar Tree and budget friendly decor crafts. So it's now time to start moving into kind of our summer crafting and decorating. If you all are new, welcome. I love to share with you guys how you can make your home's boutique gorgeous on a budget. I'm also hosting a $100 Hobby Lobby gift card giveaway. So don't forget to comment and subscribe. And without further ado, Dude, let's go ahead and plug in those glue guns, get out your glitter and paint, and let's get to crafting! For this first Dollar Tree DIY, I want to share with you guys how to make a super adorable homegrown summer strawberries sign. So from the Dollar Tree, I have one of these cute little calendars, and then I have one of their just blank canvases. I'm taking some Mod Podge, and I'm going to Mod Podge the calendar um, print out to the front of the white canvas. Now they're carrying larger canvases at Dollar Tree, which is super amazing. If you want to play around with some art or make some fun little signs like this, or if you have kiddos or grandkids at home this summer, um, so fun to just grab some paint and let them paint away. I always did that with my kiddos. So now I'm going to make a quick little fun bow to top it off. I'm using this beautiful black and white houndstooth ribbon. I just, um, folded it over on itself, pinched it in the center, and tied a little knot off with some burlap, hot glued it off to the side, and then I'm gonna take a cup, a little kind of, this is like the edging piece, so it's just like a little extra piece, and I'm simply kind of ruching the ribbon with my fingers, and gluing, and then ruching a little bit more to kind of give it like a cascade, you know, effect going across the top of this to kind of, to kind of frame it out and just make it this fun little um, homegrown strawberry sign. The other thing about using these white canvases is it's already painted white and you cannot really see the calendar backing on the other side when you Mod Podge it. Now I just Mod Podged a thin layer and then I didn't put any over the top because I didn't want it to be like too much. I also used a paper towel to kind of smooth out any little ruffles that were in the Mod Podge. And then I'm going to add one more little piece of a ribbon here, kind of cascading down the side. And I did dovetail my ribbon ends. So that just means you cut a little triangle in the ends of your ribbon. And that's going to give it a nice, pretty finish. And there you guys have that, a cute little homegrown strawberry sign. I did go back in with a little bit of a red check ribbon just to give it a bit of flair. And really, honestly, you guys can choose any theme with any calendar sign, an easy little canvas, some cute ribbon, and you have a really nice little boutique sign on a total budget. Now listen, I love to change out my fun seasonal decor. So for me, this is something that's just really, really fun to do. So there you guys have that, a fun little easy sign on a budget. And I hope you guys are inspired to create some fun summer decor in your home. For this next Dollar Tree DIY, I'm going to share with you all how to jazz up one of these little cute Dollar Tree tea towels. So I chose this Family is Everything tea towel, and this is a fun way to jazz up a tea towel and add it to like a little gift or just set it out for decor on a pretty cake stand and add some foam muffins to it. But I'm just going to tie this ribbon in a shoelace bow. Now this was ribbon that I found at Hobby Lobby during the Christmas time, um, but they may still have a really cute um, gingham ribbon there as well. You guys can always check their ribbon section and always look for um, their 40% off when they run that on some of their different sections um, weekly. They do weekly um the sales on the ribbon sections. So I'm taking some hot glue and I'm gently hot gluing the ribbon to the top of my tea towel. And once that is secure, I'm going to ruche the ends of the ribbon pieces to kind of make it, you know, cascade down and frame out my little tea towel. These are also fun to do for bathrooms. 
obviously it's more of a decor piece and you want to kind of the way that I do this if I make a decorative towel is I'll make the decorative towel and then I'll put a real um, tea towel underneath next to it if it's hanging from the stove or underneath it if it's in my guest bathroom that way your guest doesn't feel uncomfortable using your pretty towel but it does look really cute for decoration and makes it feel really festive and if you want to get a little bit more customized you can even run a strip of ribbon at the bottom of your little towel and again this gives you just a boutique specialty decor idea and you're using it with a dollar tree tea towel because they always have really cute like little seasonal decor tea towels and i think it's just so fun to add a bright pop of fun to your decor it gives everybody something to look forward to and just makes everything feel really homey now i'm just gently um, gluing the little ribbon underneath the tea towel and then wrapping it around the base of the top and then there you guys have that boom so fun and fabulous on a total budget and again check the Dollar Tree seasonal decor section and also their kitchen section and that's really where you're going to find a lot of their cute and adorable tea towels and this is one of my favorites the family is everything one I also did add a cute little kind of um, burlapy bow. It's actually not burlap, it's the jute twine. Gosh, it slipped my mind what I was trying to find. Um, doesn't that happen to you guys when you get older? Things just seem to slip your mind. So I love y'all and I hope you're inspired to do something fun and creative for your summer. For this next Dollar Tree DIY, I'm going to take one of these wooden cutout stars and I'm going to use this edging just um, level and I'm going to draw stripes on the star and basically what I want to do is create a Mackenzie Child inspired little red and white star and I want to do red and white I decided because even though Mackenzie Child's um, creations don't have a red and white um, idea on their website. I thought we could use this for 4th of July, summer, strawberry, fun, and then also we can take this and use this in our Christmas decor. I know I like to try to start thinking about a little bit of fall and Christmas, even though I know it's super early. Don't throw things at me. Don't throw any tinsel or ornaments at me. But when we're crafting and decorating during the holidays, I don't know if you guys are like me, but I get completely behind. So what I'm doing now is I'm just taking some white or some red paint and white paint and the Mackenzie Child style is hand painted. So they have artists that actually hand paint all of their work and they like to drag a little bit of paint through the white parts of it. So I did that with this one. And then I'm going to add a cute bow to the top because you guys know me. I love my bows and I cannot lie. So I had this cute striped ribbon and my idea for this was as well is to make it feel kind of summer fun. And then if I do want to reuse this in Christmas, um, then I may just go ahead and change this ribbon out and add something more for holiday, but I am doing it somewhat neutral and then red and white check. And these would also be a really fun gift idea that you guys could start on even now during the summer. I don't know if it, you guys are like us, but we get really hot weather in the summer and I'm telling you, it's a great time to catch up on some of your crafting if you have time. I know not everybody has the time to craft during summer, but Sometimes my daughter and I like to turn the AC down, make it feel kind of chilly, and then do some Christmas and July crafting. But anyway, I'm adding a little red ribbon to the center part of this, and then I also added some greenery. I topped it on top of this cute little um, faux enamel kind of tray. I believe I got this at Hobby Lobby last season. I think they still have them, but these are fun to load up with goodies and make like a little coffee bar tray. And again, another fun little easy idea on a budget. For the 
this next Dollar Tree DIY, I'm going to take one of these cute little cutouts, and this one says, I'm rooting for you. This one's really cute, and it would be fun to do with kiddos or grandkids, but I want to make it look a little bit more kind of like a Mother's Day craft, I guess, or something that's not quite so... Um, um, juvenile like us, you know, something I could give my mom or that the kids could make for their moms. Anyway, I decided to paint mine white because I have a lot of white decor and then I just used a little red paint to make my hearts with. But my idea for this is, is to take and put like a cute little, um, clothespin in the center and then you can change out photos. I love doing that. I have um, my calendar is set up like that. And then I like to pin little notes that the kids write for me on top of that or you know pictures or whatnot now i'm just going to take some green paint and i'm going to add some green paint to kind of make it look like it's like a little cute blooming plant i love this really soft green i got it at walmart it's an apple barrel paint i'll have to look at it and see what exact color it is but it's such a pretty little color especially for like a springy summer cottage vibe and I did have to use two coats of the white chalk paint to get this to completely cover. You can still kind of see through some of it in this frame. And then I'm just outlining a little bit of detail with my paintbrush um, to kind of make it look like the plants had like some veins or leaves. Now I'm going to tell you guys something I love about painting. I really feel like it's really relaxing and soothing. So I encourage you all to grab some inexpensive acrylic paint at Walmart and then some of these little Dollar Tree signs from the crafters square section. Don't be intimidated by painting things hand painted. I know I can be, but I'm going to tell you guys something that's my secret. I always think to myself, well, it was only a dollar and change. And if I mess it up, I can try to paint over it. And then if I, you know, love it, then I have something really cute. But I added one of my um, daughter and her cousin's little um, pictures to the bottom of it. And then we have just this super adorable little fun, easy um, decor idea on a budget. And honestly, now that I'm looking at it, it almost looks like it's a cupcake. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. And speaking of cupcakes, that's going to be the secret question for today's video. What is your favorite flavor of cupcake or cake? I guess for that matter, if you don't like cupcakes. Anyway, I love y'all so, so much. I will insert a clip of Benji Bear too in just a sec as well for you guys. tree DIY. I want to share with you how you can make a super adorable kind of three-tiered garden planter using items from the Dollar Tree. So grab two of their garden trellises and you're going to flip one upside down, kind of nestle them up against each other to where you have two columns. And then you can take zip ties and you want to stabilize them right here in the center part of your little garden trellises. And then you want to stabilize um, either either side or at least the top piece. So I did all three rows here on mine and then you can also take that little extra prong at the top just bend it backward and then back again as you guys can see how I'm doing that right here and then you can trim those off the next thing I'm doing is taking some of these little Dollar Tree um, just little galvanized buckets and I used my Cricut um, tool to get the tags off the bottom because we don't want to see the bottoms of the tags. <laughs> I know I've had people complain about me leaving tags on so I got them off for you guys. Um, and then I took a little um, box cutter and poked holes in the back and then I'm going to zip tie them to the little garden trellis. Now this is such a fun idea you guys if you need more wall space or um, and I mean more floor space and you want to put stuff on your wall so this would be fun you know to do little garden ideas or you can keep um, kids crayons and craft supplies and this really the sky is the limit so I really wanted this idea to be very versatile for you all but again I'm just taking some zip ties and I'm zip tying them to the garden trellis and um, to give that little hole punch there, I just used a box cutter 
Um, that box cutter cuts into it pretty good. Um, and so here is how it turned out so far. Now I'm going to take these florals that I found off of Amazon and I'm just going to pop them into my buckets. Now I actually have a ton of these florals on hand because I'm getting ready to decorate for a friend of mine's wedding. And so that's super exciting. So you guys are going to see some bridal florals popped into some of my creations in the next month or so. And here's how it turned out, you guys. How super adorable is this? I honestly feel like this looks really high-end. I mean, I think the florals helps, but Dollar Tree carries pretty florals as well. And I think part of the key to doing something like this is to use all of the same color of flower. That kind of makes things look a little bit more high-end when you do it like that. But also think about this. You guys could use this so easily for ribbon for scissors, for markers. I mean, you could make this into like a kitchen utensil, whatever you need to hang. Now I will tell you, you probably can't put a ton of weight into the buckets to where, I mean, cause these little um, trellises aren't, they're not super sturdy, but they're fine um, to use in this manner. In my opinion, the florals are pretty lightweight. So I haven't tried it with a heavier item, but if you guys tried this, let me know. Fun and fabulous on a budget. Dollar Tree DIY. I want to show you guys how to make a super adorable summer garden centerpiece. So I grabbed this super cute little charger from Dollar Tree and I hot glued some styrofoam to the center of it. And then I'm taking these florals that I found off of Amazon. And again, you guys are going to see me use a bunch of these florals because I'm decorating for a friend of mine's wedding. So I'll use them in some of my DIYs that I share with you guys and then repurpose them into the wedding. But I'm leaving them all kind of bundled together and then I'm just going to poke them into a little styrofoam. And this is going to make just kind of a pretty garden florally idea. And then I'm going to add some greenery to fill it in as well. Next thing I started to add into my little arrangement were some of these summer yellow flowers. These even will take you into fall. I think these were from some of my fall totes, but I just thought that the lemon or the, the yellow would be cute with the lemon. So I'm using this little Dollar Tree lemon sign. I love the sign, you guys. It says, when life gives you lemons, make something sweet. And I'm hot gluing that and popping it into the centerpiece here. And then I'm going to add in some more florals. And I really wanted this to just feel kind of wild and gardeny. Um, so I kind of like fun little arrangements like that. But you guys really just pick any little fun Dollar Tree sign that you love. You could make this patriotic by just changing out some of the florals, some of the accent florals. Um, and then I did end up adding some kind of like lemons and limes. And I just thought it looked really, really cute. Now the sign got kind of buried deep <laughs> in my wild um, floral. But again, I think it looks really cute and fun. And I did get the Bless This Kitchen sign from Hobby Lobby, if you guys are wondering about that, as well as a super adorable little table. Again, fun, fabulous summer ideas on a budget. next Dollar Tree DIY, I want to share with y'all how you can make a super adorable little hanging garden planter. This is going to be a summer garden planter. So you're going to take two of the Dollar Tree trellises and you're going to flip one upside down, nestle them up against each other to where you have these two columns. And then in the center point of the columns, take your little zip ties and zip tie them together to where it is nice and sturdy. What we want to do is add some cute little garden planters here. Now, 
I want to share with you guys a super great little tool. Grab one of those Cricut scrapers if you have one on hand and use that to scrape off those pesky Dollar Tree stickers. You guys know what I'm talking about. Um, and then I just use a box cutter to cut little holes in the back and then I'm taking zip ties to zip tie them on to my little garden planter trellis. I love making these garden planters. I think they're so super fun and you can put real or fake flowers. Now the trellises aren't as sturdy as the plastic garden gates that I've used on other ones. Um, so be careful how much weight you put in it. This, this is, this is, this works fine, but I'm just saying if you guys get really crazy and start loading them down, you just might want to be careful. There may be a weight limit. Now I'm taking some of these little Dollar Tree ferns and I do have styrofoam hot glued to the base of the little, um, galvanized garden tins and I'm just popping that in so adding a nice little layer of greenery is going to make it feel summery and blooming I'm telling you guys right now that it is so beautiful right now where I live the gr everything is greening up and we have like little rolling hills um, they call them mountains but I don't really feel like they're technically mountains but they're beautiful once all the greenery comes in lush with trees and we have lakes where I'm from and so drop a comment down below and let me know where you guys are from. Are you seeing a lot of green grass and trees and beautiful flowers starting to pop out um, wherever you're at? We're getting some really nice weather. It's in the 90s now. So that's been really, really nice and a big change of pace. So, you know, we go from pretty chilly to just boom summer. And so I have to constantly be adjusting what I'm wearing. So it's not too hot, but then I have to bring like a little jacket for the evening. Anyway, I'm also popping in some of these little cute Dollar Tree lemons and a little bit more greenery. I want this to feel kind of like just a fun kind of lemon flavorful kind of kitchen floral. I think greenery during the summer is so fun and adding in some little lemons gives your greenery that pop of color. Now look how super adorable this turned out. I think it looks absolutely amazing, totally fun and fabulous on a total budget. This next Dollar Tree DIY is just going to be so fun and easy and I'm going to take some of the little Dollar Tree wooden magnets, hot glue them to some of these fun little citrus pieces. I did get the citrus pieces off of Amazon, but I want to share with you guys different ideas that you can do. You can use like a little flower, you can use some of the totally dazzled jewels. So here's a little flower that I used and this goes along with some of the decor that I just recently created for this video. Check out how adorable this is. Now I will tell you that the little slices of lemons and limes and stuff, they were a little bit heavy for the magnet. I will tell you that um, the magnet stayed up, but I wouldn't say it was the most sturdy. And then the jewel did fine, but again, oh, it could be a little bit more of a sturdy magnet. So just a little FYI on that one, the flower seemed to be the best. They'll stay on the fridge. Um, I just, you know, I wouldn't, like I had to use two of the magnets to hold up a picture. So that's kind of a pet peeve of mine when magnets don't like to stay up. But I think this is still a fun idea and you guys could even just cover them maybe with a little bit of sticker or whatnot, but you get six to a pack and this would be a fun little idea to personalize and maybe do with your grandkids or kiddos. The Lord has done great things for us and we are filled with joy. That's from Psalm 126, 3. And that is a sweet little prayer card. And again, so I have two magnets on here and then I'm just adding this little third one just so it stabilizes and all of that kind of fun stuff. So there you guys have that. So as always, I ask that you guys comment down below and let me know what was your favorite DIY in this video and which one you will, you will you be recreating. Those are my kiddos. They are my love, my heart, and my joy. Um, and I love them so, so much. I'm so blessed to be a mama. I'm telling you, I had the best Mother's Day ever. The best part about when your kids get older is that you can actually have like a lot of fun with them. So here's my puppy dog, Benji Bear. I told you guys it's been in the 90s here, so it's gotten really hot. <laughs> and so I started taking him on our normal walk and he just 
fluffed out. I mean, he did not want to walk. He just wanted to be in that cool grass. So here he is after the walk and he was so tuckered out. He just laid on the floor and he flopped around and he was just done. He did not. So I know now I had a grooming appointment for him to get, he has to get his hair, um, trimmed back really far in the summer because he just gets so hot it's like having a winter coat on so he'll get his summer haircut and he's gonna look so much littler he looks literally like a different dog during the summertime so say hi to Benji Bear and we love you guys and as always we're so 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 thankful to have you here big hugs and kisses and love for this Dollar Tree DIY, I want to share with you all how to make a super adorable summer scarf wreath. Okay, so you're going to grab the three summer scarves from the Dollar Tree, and I chose these super cute red and blue ones. Now, this can go with the Lake Life nautical theme, which is what I'm going to do for this video, or think 4th of July. So what you want to do is grab a re wire wreath form from Dollar Tree. You guys can also use the little green styrofoam ones. You're going to hot glue the scarf to the back of the wreath, and then this is so super easy. You're just going to simply twist it around the wreath frame. Now, how easy is that? Jelly Tree is also getting really creative with their different styles of wreaths. I noticed that they had patriotic um, star wreath forms and all different kinds of things. So once you get to the end of your scarf, you're just going to kind of tuck it underneath, hot glue it again, and twisty twist around. You're going to do this with three different scarves, and then you're even going to have a little bit left over from that third scarf, which you want to trim off. Save that scrap because we're going to use Use it for the rest of this wreath. Now from the Dollar Tree, I'm also using their wired ribbon. I'm going to take the wired ribbon and just simply loop it around itself. And I measured it from my hand to my wrist. That's going to be about 12 inches, give or take some. And then I'm going to pinch it off in the center and taking a zip tie, I'm going to zip tie the center of this and then attach it to the wreath. Now, you guys can use any pretty ribbon that you want to. Again, I'm going to do like a lake life kind of nautical theme on this wreath. Super easy to change out also for the 4th of July if I care to do that just by removing the nautical elements and then adding in some fun flags. Or I could even actually leave, I'm just thinking about this, it'd be fun to leave the nautical elements on and just pop in some um, American flags. Um, so just some fun ideas. I think summer crafting, you guys, should just be really easy. I don't think it should be super time consuming zooming and you guys can think about this this would be a fun craft for you to do with your kiddos or grandkids because it's really fairly easy as far as just the twisting of the scarf and Dollar Tree always carries tons of seasonal scarves so you're not locked into a summer decor wreath you guys could do any style of wreath that they put out with their different scarves. They put all different kinds of flavors of scarves for every season. Now I'm gonna fluffy up this bow and then add this cute little nautical anchor. Again, these were also at Dollar Tree. They're so adorable. I feel like for a buck and some change, it's not bad at all. Now I'm making some tails by twisting the rest of the ribbon that was on the loops. I dovetailed the ends by cutting the triangle in the end. And then I'm just adding in some of these amazing little wooden roses. These are also from the Dollar Tree, they're coming four to a pack, which I think they're super cute for kind of a centerpiece here. Again, keeping it fairly neutral, but then adding in these little sailboat clips. So these are paper clips with the little sailboat um, on the end. And I used one with the paper clip already on it. That way I could clip something 4th of July to my wreath if I wanted. And then I popped off the sailboats for the other end pieces and just ended up hot gluing those to the ends. So this is such a fun and easy idea. You guys are totally going to have to try this. Okay, so now maybe it's not the most high-end looking fancy wreath. I do a lot, you know, fancier things. But again, for something easy, summer friendly, you guys could totally do this. Very easy DIY. Um, fun and fabulous on a budget. this next Dollar Tree DIY, I want to share with you all a super adorable summer sign. So from the Dollar Tree, you're going to grab one of these larger summer signs. This one has a little seashell um, on the end of it. And then I have one of these little Dollar Tree anchors. And I'm just going to go ahead and paint this with some of that Waverly Blue Sky chalk paint. I ended up adding a couple of coats. I thought one was going to be enough, but ended up having to paint over that a couple more times. And then I just hot glued this underneath the seashell. By 
idea for this is to create a little um, sign where you can clip different things to it. It's one of my favorite things to do, actually. I'm probably going to use this in my kitchen and clip some of my prayer cards or my kiddos' pictures on here. But I've got these cute little clips, and they have starfish on the end. And so I'm just going to hot glue these to the top and the side. I ended up adding two. That way, whatever I clip to it will stay even. That kind of drives me a little bit crazy when I'm clipping things and they don't stay even. Now I get my prayer cards from the Dollar Tree. A lot of you all ask me about these. I share a good morning prayer card with you every single morning on my Instagram story. So pop over to my Livy's Romantic Home Instagram and check out my story. And I'm going to go ahead and clip these to my little starfish creation here. And bam, we have a fun and fabulous little summer sign on a total budget. I think this is so pretty. I think this would also be really beautiful in a bathroom. In fact, I think I might actually put this in my bathroom. That way I can have a good morning prayer card every morning in my bathroom and even just change it out weekly. I probably won't get to doing a daily prayer card in my bathroom, but Listen, it's so helpful to just have these reminders kind of sprinkled around your house. And I find my prayer cards at the Dollar Tree in the checkout aisle. So I know some of you guys have been looking for them. Keep an eye out in your checkout aisle or worst case scenario, ask the staff. They might ha help you be able to find them. For this DIY, I want to share with you all how to make a super adorable little summer easy floral greenery um, using items from the Dollar Tree. So grab a Dollar Tree planter. I'm using this Lake Life planter, which is super adorable and also new to the Dollar Tree. I hot glued a piece of Dollar Tree styrofoam to the base of it, and then I'm adding in some of these faux ferns. The ferns are kind of plasticky, which I kind of like. I feel like they look a little bit more real than the ferns from last season. They will also hold up to being outside on my patio. If you're gonna put these outside on your patio, drop some rocks down inside of them, which I do plan to do. Um, but I'm just gonna poke four different bundles of those ferns in, and then I'm gonna add some of this excelsior moss, also from the Dollar Tree. I just use the entire bag to really kind of give it some stability here. And then I'll go back in and pop in some stones. That way it doesn't bluster and blow away. We've been having some storms lately. It seems like with our weather, still a little bit of summer storms. You guys comment down below and let me know if you guys have been having those. Now I also decided to add some dimension. Dollar Tree's putting out a pretty nice little bit of the eucalyptus and their plastic eucalyptus. The next thing I'm gonna do is take some of this nautical rope and I'm gonna make a cute little bow here. So I'm just gonna tie a quick little bow and then pop that in to the base of um, my creation. Usually I don't decorate these, but I thought I would give you guys an idea on how to decorate it in kind of more of like a lake life beachy theme. I'm going to hot glue it to the side of this garden planter and then call it done. Now, if you want to go a little bit extra, which I kind of like to do, you can take some detailed um, ribbon, which I'm telling you they're putting out a ton of fun little detailed ribbon also at the Dollar Tree. I'm going to type a shoelace bow, and this bow says Lake Life on it, or the ribbon says Lake Life on it, which I thought was super cute. So if you wanted to make this like as a housewarming gift or, you know, just make this to kind of give your patio a, a festivity, I have a nice little covered patio on my back porch. I also popped in some wooden roses. This is just kind of for an idea. I know my kids used to love to decorate my plants with like fairy gnome stuff, so this would be an idea for how your kiddos or grandkids could... Um, decorate maybe one of your little planters, pop a starfish in, and bam, we've got some like life living with our fern decor piece. Now, of course, if it's outside, you may not want to do this much extra goodies, but again, fun and fabulous little garden planter on a budget.
What's next, Dolly Tree DIY? I want to show you guys how to make a super adorable little mermaid summer sign. So I'm going to take one of these longer signs from Dolly Tree, and I did turn it sideways, but I want to kind of jazz this little mermaid sign up a bit, maybe like something you would find at TJ Maxx or Hobby Lobby. I added some hot glue to the back of the mermaid sign. It's nice and lightweight. And I thought that this um, brown sign could kind of be the border. Now I wanted to cover up the sideways um, uh, little seahorse here. So I'm adding in this burlap trim and I'm just wrapping it around the entire thing until I get to the end of this. And then I'm going to add some super adorable starfish. I thought about adding the wooden roses to this creation, but I really just felt like it needed to stay kind of simple. This again would be a fun and easy little craft to do with some kiddos as far as like wrapping the string wouldn't be a hard part. I'll be super supervised with the glue gun and then I'm just adding some of these little starfish now the starfish are coming four to a pack and I am loving them actually maybe it's three to a pack anyway super adorable and I think it makes it look really fun and beachy and this would be just such an easy little idea to do for a bathroom or a kiddo's room you could even add a little bow or some sparkle glitter to the mermaid part if you have a really sparkly mermaid in your family um, my daughter never really super got into mermaids but I've always been somewhat fascinated by them and I think if you're doing if you live by the beach I think this would be fun or if you have a mermaid fan or you just want a festive little fun kind of beachy piece for uh, summertime this is an easy uh, go-to creation This next Dollar Tree DIY, I want to show you guys how to make a super fun little summer coastal napkin ring. So from the Dollar Tree, you're going to grab these cute little napkin rings that they have out. And they're kind of decorated with this little band of uh, kind of a burlap color around them. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a big dollop of hot glue and then add one of these faux starfish. These are also from the Dollar Tree and they're coming, I think, three to four to a pack. And they just go perfectly on here. Now you could always use a little bit of twine to wrap around the starfish if you wanted to really anchor on there just a little bit better. I think the hot glue was fine, but I would be concerned because of the size of the starfish that they might easily pop off. You could also use some more permanent glue like E6000 or Gorilla Glue. Um, but this is just a fun idea for how you can create some coastal decor. And then I'm going to pop in this cute little blue napkin. This is just a napkin that I found at Tuesday morning. I think it's so pretty. I love kind of the oriental blue pattern. And I think blue is so nice and fresh for summer. And then I also encourage you guys to check out some of the Dollar Tree summer dinner wear. I love this little pattern with the starfish and the sand dollars and this says sea and sunshine and then you can even pop in some fun little straws in bam you have a fun little porch table uh, scape on a total budget using items from the dollar tree Next Dollar Tree DIY, I want to share with you guys how you can take some of those cute little Dollar Tree mini pillows and jazz them up with some ribbon. So Dollar Tree is carrying this really adorable little kind of nautical striped ribbon. I grabbed several different kinds. They're carrying like the different coastal mermaid kinds as well. So I just want to run a strip of the striped ribbon down the front of the little pillow and then around the edge. I think these pillows are really cute, but when you're making something a little boutique gorgeous on a budget, it's always great to jazz it up a little bit of ribbon or some details. I think it's all in the details for how something looks a little bit more high end and fabulous. Now, 
You guys know me, I always love to add bows to things. That might be kind of corny for some, but that's just my personal style, but you guys could always stop there. Um, but I'm gonna add a cute little shoelace bow. And when I say shoelace bow, it just means a bow that you would create um, by like tying your shoelaces. So um, I'm just gonna go ahead and tie that little shoelace bow, hot glue it to the center, and then bam, you have a fun and little fabulous sachet pillow, again, on a budget. It would even be fun to spritz them with a nice little, you know, room spray or something and then pop it into your closet or in your closet door. I also um, had the idea that these could be for like a guest room and you could put like a little do not disturb tag on there. And so your guests could hang that outside their door for when they don't want to be disturbed. <laughs> now this is another cute one. And for this one, all I simply did was add a bow to the top. And now I'm noticing that the seahorses, I think the print is upside down from where the hanger is. Are you guys noticing that in this video? Comment down below and let me know. And hey, as always, I ask that you guys comment and let me know what was your favorite DIY in this video and which one will you guys will be recreating. Also, how are you going to be decorating for summer? Yep, those seahorses are upside down from where the little sachet hanger is. So probably what I need to have done would be to remove that original ribbon <laughs> and put it on the other side. But hey, you got to love Dollar Tree. Anyway, I love y'all. Thank you for being here. And I hope you're having a gorgeous, fabulous, blessed day. And enjoy the beginning of summer. And I can't wait to share with you guys some more fun DIYs. We have my puppy dog Benji Bear. He stayed high with his little fun little toy here. Benji Bear loves you guys, and I know he has some puppy dog fans out there. So roof, roof! <laughs> Look at that face. He loves to play tug of war. Do you guys' puppies love to play tug of war? He is so funny and so feisty. Such a little stinker, but very lovable. For this next Dollar Tree DIY, I want to share with you guys how you can make a super adorable little fun gnome sign on a budget. So take one of those larger Dollar Tree signs, grab one of the little Dollar Tree gnome signs, and then hot glue it to the back of this. And I'm so sorry, my voice is a little bit sketchy here, but I've had terrible allergies lately. Anyway, you want to grab one of the Dollar Tree um, little fun pre-made bows. Listen, I love their pre-made bows. Hot glue that to the top and you guys are done. Easy on a total budget.
For this Dollar Tree DIY, I want to show you guys how to make a super easy little Dollar Tree centerpiece. Hey, grab one of those Dollar Tree buckets and hot glue some of the styrofoam to the center. And then they have this beautiful eucalyptus that they're putting out cut off some of those pieces and then add them into the centerpiece of your little styrofoam. And you guys are so good to go for Dollar Tree centerpieces for the 4th of July. Now, listen, think about this. You guys can easily change out the buckets to match any season. And I've shared this with you guys so many different times where you guys can change out these different buckets, add in some granary, add in some festive holiday decor, and you guys have an easy centerpiece on a total budget. So again, for this one, we're adding eucalyptus and you guys can add some fun little ferns and a cute little 4th of July flag. And here is how this super adorable, fun, little, easy arrangement turned out. Oh my goodness. I think these are so cute to put out for your centerpiece or, you know, by your front door on your entryway table, really any place that you want to jazz up some of your holiday decor. I love doing touches of holiday decor throughout my home. And so this is just a really easy way to do that. Pretty much grab any bucket from the Dollar Tree and you guys are good to go. Fun and fabulous on a budget. For this Dollar Tree DIY, I want to show you guys how you can make a super adorable little Dollar Tree 4th of July wreath on a total budget using one of those Dollar Tree scarves, hot glue it to this star wreath form. Now listen, they're putting out the most amazing little wreath forms and grab those for a buck and some change and that little cute little scarf and twisty tie around. So I just hot glue it to the base of the scarf, wrapped it around and then used about two or three of these and called it good. Listen, this is a fun craft you guys can do on a total budget with your kiddos and grandkids. Listen, but make sure that you help them with that hot glue gun. And I'm telling you guys right now, this is such a fun and easy way to create a festive wreath. I love to create festive decor using Dollar Tree supplies and the scarves. They put out so many fun scarves and you're always wondering, what should I do with this besides wear it as a scarf? Here is the perfect answer for that. Wind it around that wreath form and you guys, this is so fun. And you guys can decorate it however you love to do. You can add bows to it. You can add, like, I had these little lays off to the side thinking I was gonna use them, but I think I'm gonna use them on another craft. But hot glue that little base, here's an idea use one of their pre-made bows boom you guys have a wreath on a budget I feel like summer crafting should be so simple and easy I'm going to take this Dollar Tree ribbon wrap it around itself pinch it off in the center and call it good and again this is a buck and some change I know Dollar Tree went up to, I think to a dollar 25 so bear with us here on that but pinch it in the center and then add a zip tie I have been crushing on zip ties recently and 
Um, it's just going to really hold your ribbons together so much better. And I'm so apologize for my voice. In this video, I've had the most terrible allergies. It's been hard for me to talk. I'm drinking tea right now. But anyway, you guys, um, so I'm going to trim off that little spot there from the zip tie and then fluffy out my bow. That's going to give you guys a nice little gorgeous bow. And then we're going to tie that off in the center here. How cute is this? I think this is so adorable. Now listen, I want you guys to check for the really nice detailed ribbon that they're putting out. Dollar Tree is putting out some gorgeous ribbon. Tie that off in the center and you guys have a beautiful little fun patriotic bow. strength and show me your weakness we're in this together now we're in this together now give me your love and tell me your secrets cause we're in this together now yeah we're in this together now Okay, so here is how it turned out. I think it's really super adorable. It's maybe a little bit funky, but hey, we like some funky, cute, booty gorgeous decor on a budget. Now listen, as always, I ask that you guys comment and let me know what was your favorite DIY in this video and which one will you be recreating? Here is my favorite little puppy dog, Benji Bear. He wants to say hi to you guys. I know we have Benji Bear fans out there and some of you guys just watch these videos for him. He's dressed up for you in his cute little scarf and actually I can't wait to share with you his summer haircut. Check out my Instagram for that. So thank you all so much for joining me on another fun and fabulous crafty decor adventure. It is a true blessing and honor to have you all here. If you all are new, welcome. I'm Olivia with Olivia's Romantic Home, and I love to share with you guys how you can make your home's boutique gorgeous on a budget, crafting and decorating using inexpensive items from the Dollar Tree, the thrift store, Hobby Lobby, and some of that kind of fun stuff. So if you love that type of content, I would love to invite you all to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you subscribe and punch the bell, click all. That will update you every single time I post a new video. I do post several DIY videos a week on YouTube as well as several a day over on Facebook. And hey, listen, if you would love to share photos of the home decor and the DIY projects that you all create, I have a free Olivia's Romantic Home group page. All you guys have to do is pop over to my Olivia's Romantic Home Facebook request to join my group page. I'll approve the request and you can post, post, post photos of your home decor and DIY projects. I don't know why I couldn't get that out of my mouth. Um, and so anyway, hey, we're getting ready to head into the summer. I know my kiddos are ready for a break from school. They're like, oh, mom, I'm so tired of school. And I know that about a month into summer when it gets blazing hot, um, and they'll be ready to kind of be back in with their friends again. So sometimes I think it's important for us to remember just to enjoy each moment in each part of the day, no matter where we're at. And speaking of where we're at, um, I know everybody's been through a lot in the last couple of years, including myself. Um, so I think what I've been learning is to just try to put one foot in front of the other, listen for God's voice. Um, I've really been trying to start my morning with my little good morning prayer card. I get those at Dollar Tree. They're in the checkout section. I know a lot of you guys ask me about that. And, um, you know, I'll listen to praise and worship music. That helps me in my day. I've also started listening to, um, it's called Pop Goes Classical on Spotify. Um, there's some really great, you know, pop songs that have been remade into classical music. And I don't know if you all struggle with anxiety or overthinking or over worrying, which is sometimes I can be prone to. Um, I can, can be a little high strung sometimes, um, but uh, I really have been listening to classical music when I start to feel like, oh, things are just a little bit too much or I start getting stressed or feel frustrated. I'll put that on and it really helps me. Um, so, um, and I take a lot of walks with my dog and I've been doing cardio in the morning. A lot of you all ask me about 
some of my fitness. Um, I do about an hour on the elliptical machine because it's low impact. So that helps me. And I know this is a part of crafting, but um, it's difficult for me to get to all of my comments and respond to everyone because I'm a one woman show. I film, edit, upload, craft, decorate, clean my home, take care of my kids, um, all, you know, you know, so anyway, it's a lot. And I try to be intentional and give uh, my time to my kiddos and um, all of that kind of fun stuff. And to you guys and making this content for you all. So for everybody that's been along on this journey, thank you guys. Um, it's just been so fun and I just can't wait to continue to craft and decorate. I have a really fun idea for Christmas for us this year. I've done the candy cane stripe theme quite a lot. So I'm almost feeling like I wanna go somewhere a little bit more softer and neutral. Um, I do have a really kind of fun, playful spirit. And so I think the candy cane theme is just super fun. I did gingerbread and all of that kind of fun stuff. And who knows, I may whip that all out again this year and stick with gingerbread. I probably will do gingerbread uh, maybe in my studio. I don't like to let anything go to waste. Um, but I'm kind of almost feeling like I want to go a little bit more maybe glamorous and soft and romantic. So anywhere my puppy dog Benji Bear needs to be. I love y'all. Sorry for the rambling. I have eaten all of your hearts so tight. And hey, I also got a new hairdo. What do you guys think? I got a tiny bit of um, lighter color put in it. You know, hey, it's going to be summer. So have a gorgeous blessed day. Thank you for being here. I can't wait for our next video. And until then, remember, be kind to yourselves and be kind to one of the touch case very soon. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. I love you.